and but journalists know. So people or journalists are tried under the criminal law. So they can have any kind of charges um, starting from uh, fines up to up to prison for different years or different periods and even up to death if they are accused of being a traitor. Because we don't have a, a journalist law or press law, um, everybody in Bahrain are tried under the uh, under the criminal law, which uh, which apply, unfortunately, on people who are acting or demanding or they are in the under the umbrella of the opposition, even if they are not. But doesn't apply on the other 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 uh, people who are in favor of the government or or they are um, um, <coughs> pro government. Yeah, Arab press is less interested because there is um, let's say wilder or more bloody scenes here in the Arab world, in Iraq, in Syria, in Libya. So the Bahraini scene became very peaceful and very um, mild. That's why even the international media are not paying attention to it. And because, of course, a lot of, uh, a lot of the press are not independent in this, in this area of the world, they are just following the policy the political policy or the political strategy of the government of their countries or, or, or of, of the rulers. So if the rulers there are not supporting the uprising here, or they, if we want to call it uprising or, or events or uh, just, uh, just in incidents happening in Bahrain, if, if the governments are not supporting these events, then we will not find the media covering it because mostly media and Arab world are a follower to the rulers and to the to the government. We have uh, like a, a unit in, in Ministry of uh, Communication just to just to uh, supervise the, the social media and to uh, to follow what's going on on on, uh, on uh, social media and to check if uh, if there is a criminal uh, acts on social media like uh, insulting uh, insulting the king or any other um, icons of the country because it's considered a, cr a crime here in Bahrain. So we have this unit who's following everybody who's um, using, maybe a Bahr anybody who's from Bahrain or who is right about Bahrain, and especially people from Bahrain, of course, because the law is implemented on them. Yeah, uh, we have a new law which says uh, if, if you use any tool or any media tool, even if it's social media, to insult the king, you can go to uh, you could go to prison, starting one year up to seven years. And uh, because there is a lot of people, or let's say there there is a um, a party and the opposition who are calling for overthrow the regime who are against the ruler family they all their their um, slogan is down with hamad hamad is the king so if if you use this slogan anytime 
you are facing these charges of insulting the king. So a lot of people who are calling for overthrow the regime or or uh, to to uh, they are calling for a republic, not for a constitution and monarchy. They can face this um, accusation if they are writing with their real names and they live in Bahrain. The uprising in Bahrain when they started in 2011, I think it affected the media a lot because even the the media outlets who were in Bahrain who got improved and developed in the past 10 years, I mean from 2001 to 2011, they were they went back to the square one where they are only pro-government and they are biased to the government and uh, like throwing accusations on the oppositions and on the protesters and on the whole uprising movement. So we, we lost the neutrality in, in local newspapers and in local media. We lost that uh, kind of logic even. We start to see these stories, who are, which is unlogic, about how all of these people who went out on the streets are backed with foreign, foreign country, as the government is saying, and it's not, it's not, it's not accurate actually. I don't consider myself to be an activist, to be honest. I'm a journalist who is defending uh, freedom of speech and press, who wants this country and even other countries to live with uh, freedom of speech and media, and media and press, because this is going to lead to democracy, freedom, justice, and everything good, everything else good to the people. If you let media do their job, then we can reach somewhere, some good life for everybody.